In this video we're going to concentrate on the captioning feature within Word. So all I'm going to do to begin with is just add a few images into this document by using the insert pictures tool. And once we've done that we can just caption them. So I'm just going to add the second one in at the bottom here. So go back to the first one. In order to caption an image you just need to select it to begin with uh, and then go to the References tab and from there just go to the Captions group and click on Insert Caption. So basically all you need to do here is actually type in uh, the caption that you require for the image and you could leave it um, at that. Um, what I'm going to suggest you do is make sure that the include chapter number um, element is selected. So um, what that will do is just make sure that within each chapter the number of each image is preceded by the chapter number so it makes referencing that much clearer. So just say OK there and OK again and you'll see the caption appear at the bottom. So if I repeat that for the second one you'll see that word can count which is good um, and I'm just going to uh, type in a um, another caption there, very imaginative, and say OK. So a couple of things just to point out at this stage. Um, if you want to change the way that these captions look, you're not happy with the default, um, it's very easy to do but don't do it manually. Um, if I just select that, um, I'll pop back to the Home tab and launch my Styles pane. And in the Styles pane you'll see that uh, you've got a new style that, that has appeared called Caption. So all it takes really is a bit of quick modification there to holistically update all of your captions. So by far better to use that than try and do uh, each one manually, of course. So we'll check to make sure the other one's changed, which it has. Um, the other thing to note with captions is that um, they're based around fields. So when I had that selected, you probably saw that um, part of it is showing up as dark grey. So that's the, um, the dynamic bit, if you like. It's a bit of code that is um, relatively positionally aware. So when I add a, a subsequent image that will be 1-3 um, so it knows its place within the order of things. Um, what you might want to do is move one of your images at some point after you've captioned. So if I select that image and then cut it you'll notice that the image uh, caption gets left behind. So um, what we actually need to do is just click at the bottom uh, of the of the caption itself and then drag across the, the pair and then uh, cut. So I'm just going to move up to the top of my document and paste it in above. Uh, and what you'll notice when I do that is that the, the number hasn't actually updated automatically. So with captions they need just a little bit of encouragement. So all we're going to have to do there is um, select uh, both of the captions. And the easiest way to do that in this instance is to use Control A on the keyboard um, and then right click and then update field. And what that will do is make it re-poll and it will look at its position um, in comparison to any, any other fields uh, within the document. So captions are very very easy to do and what they give you is later on you'll have the ability to use the uh, list of figures tool within Word which will mean that you can generate your list of figures very very quickly and that is dynamic so that for example when you go back and make edits later on in your thesis you can very quickly update your list of figures to take account of that rather than having to do anything manually.